Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to give you guys my recap to game number five of the New York Knicks Summer League. They come out on top in this one against the Cleveland Cavaliers, and when our two rookies stole the show, Quentin Grimes and Deuce McBride looked like absolute studs. Both of them just knocking down the threes, playing good defense, creating their own jump shots, looking like very confident ball players in Summer League. We also had another good performance from Obi Toppin. Emmanuel quickly did not suit up in this game he had some uh, sore groin so they just want to rest him no no reason to play him on a back-to-back -back. quickly he's been playing a lot of minutes with summer league so if he feels any soreness in that there's no reason to rush him back or anything it's just the summer league and i just love what i saw from the knicks in this game in particular so in this video i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts go over the stats and all that great stuff before i hop into it i just want to mention if you guys are new to knicks media please do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you want to check me out over on instagram and twitter that is at ny knicks underscore media and if you enjoy the video please do not forget to thumbs it up with that being said let's jump right in so first let's talk about the rookie quentin grimes easily his best performance of the summer league so far he dropped 28 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 8 of 20 from the field, 6 of 14 from downtown, and 1 steal, 6 of 7 from the free throw line. Quinn Grimes looks so good in this game. All I've been asking from him, if you guys watch all my recap videos to the previous uh, Nick Summer League games, is I want to see Grimes get a little more aggressive. I feel like he was a little passive earlier in Summer League, didn't put up shots. But he heard me. I don't know if he watches my videos, but he absolutely got aggressive. Maybe that's because Quickly wasn't playing and Quickly usually takes the bulk load of the shots. And maybe that's what gave Grimes a little opportunity to shoot the ball more because we needed somebody to put shots up. But he looked good, guys. His jump shot is fluid. We know that the form is there. We know how beautiful it looks. The comparisons to Allen Houston. Everything about it was just on another level. Quentin Grimes looked like a player that can create his own jump shot at a very efficient level. Whenever he's open, he pulls a trigger. He can just go to the rim, finish through contact, and one. There's so many parts to Grimes' game last night that gets Knicks fans so excited. His effort on defense, his ability to, you sag off for one second, he can pop it in your mouth. You go under a screen, he's going to shoot it. He just looks like a very comfortable shooter out there. And in the beginning of Summer League, he would put up a lot of shots and they just weren't falling. And that's a natural part of being a shooter. I said this exact thing in my previous videos. If you're a shooter in this league, not every single shot's going to go in. You're going to have nights where they don't fall. And tonight was, or last night was a night where Quentin Grimes' shots were falling from everywhere. And he looked so good, especially in the clutch as well. Now, let's talk about Deuce McBride, Miles McBride. This man absolutely stole the show as well. Him and Grimes together look so fun to watch. Our two rookies, I cannot talk enough about this, man. Bro, 23 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds, 9 of 14 from the field, 1 block, 2 steals, 5 of 8 from downtown. Are you kidding me? McBride's coming off a little poor performance Friday night in terms of shooting from the field, and he's just like, yo, it's okay. I'll be back, and I'm going to prove to Knicks fans that that one game where I was 6 for 6 from 3-point land, I think that was Wednesday night, it was not a fluke. I'm a real ball player. That's exactly what he showed. His ability to shoot the ball off the dribble is pretty impressive. I did not know we really had that in his game at this level. Um, I know it's only summer league and he's playing with, you know, people around the same, you know, second round picks and rookies and all that great stuff. But still, he shows you so much. McBride has that energy on the defense. He has that fire within him. He has everything you want on the defensive end. He has the instinctual ability. Yes, yeah, we knew that. But the offensive part of his game is something that I didn't know he had at this level. I really didn't. His ability to the confidence to shoot the ball from three with a hand in his face, to the pull up from a long two pointer, to drilling it back to back shots. Like he did, he has a very fluid jump shot, like very fluid. And he also has the ability to create for his teammates. I mean, five assists, that's awesome. Four boards and also one block and two steals. We know how good he is on defense. I can talk about Deuce McBride for this entire video because he stole. The, the show for Knicks fans, everybody is so obsessed with this kid right now because he is such a revelation because I feel like we've always wanted a point guard that can play defense the way he does and also have an offensive repertoire that he has in his bag. Like Frank Nilakina, for example, when we drafted him, we knew how good he is on defense. Frank's always going to be a great defender, but he lacked the confidence on the offensive end. He would show flashes, but he would never be consistent. McBride looks like he has all the confidence in the world in the offensive game. He can shoot the ball from three-point land. He can pull up from mid-range. He can drive to the rim, attack you, size you up, create for others. Everything you want in a point guard. And he's great on defense. So McBride, the swag is there. 
there. The energy, the fire. Tom Thibodeau, I understand why Leon Rose drafted both Quentin Grimes and McBride because they fit the Thibodeau scheme beautifully. They're both defensive guards that can space the floor, create their own jump shot, create shots for others. And it's just awesome that we have these rookies out there balling out. Wow. Now let's get into Obi Toppin. Obi's definitely been the most consistent player for the Knicks in the Summer League. He dropped 21 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists on 8 of 20 shooting. Uh, he had a block, 2 of 4 from downtown, 3 for 3 from the free throw line. So Obi shooting 50% from downtown, sign me up. 8 for 20, that's a very good percentage for Obi Toppin. And he just needs to continue this. Be aggressive. Hopefully, whenever the season begins, regular season, obviously, Obi has this aggression. He continues to attack. He continues to shoot the ball because we're seeing a different Obi Toppin right now. Obviously, it's Summer League, and he's going up against uh, people that are less, you know, not as good as Obi Toppin. It's simple as that. He's experienced. He's been in the NBA, and we're versing a lot of rookies. I know there's other year two players in the Summer League as well, but Obi really needs to do this exactly what he's doing. He's averaging way over 20 points per game, somewhere around like 23, 24 points per game in Summer League. He looks very confident. He looks poised. He's getting to his spots. He's pulling up. His athleticism is ridiculous. We knew that about Obi, but it's all about the shot. He's spacing the floor, loving what I'm seeing from Obi Toppin. And yeah, those are the main three guys I want to talk about. Jericho Sims also had a solid game. He uh, sat down Friday night due to rest. So last night, he had 28 minutes, 8 points. Points, nine boards, two dimes, two of three from the field, and one block shot, uh, four of six from the free throw line. So another good performance from Jericho Sims, a solid, young, athletic center. So yeah, guys, that's my thoughts of game five of the Knicks Summer League. Comment down below your thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll let you guys know, you know, in future videos what's coming, because I got a lot of content coming. You know, leading all the way up until the regular season, I want to dissect each individual player, some player profile videos, position breakdowns. There's so much content coming here on Knicks Media. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and comment down below your thoughts of the game. That is for this one, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Knicks. Peace.